Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at the Lobo CPU water block pump combo from Mud Ultra. I'll leave a product link in the video description. In this video, I'll be covering the Lobo specs, setup and installation, along with a fully liquid cooled build I put together in the Iconic ZX1. So without further ado, let's kick things off with the Lobo specs and installation guide, after which we'll take a look at some benchmarks and the build. Quick note, Mod Ultra provide an excellent PDF guide which I'd recommend following during the installation process. Once the DDC pump is removed from the stock housing, you'll want to apply the captain tape to the wire solder joint to, pro to protect against short circuits. Next, apply the thermal pad to the DDC circuit board. I've already completed this installation once before, which is why my thermal pad is stuck inside the DDC housing. Now I know some will be curious how loud the AK 4.2 DDC pump is. It's definitely noticeable at 100% speed, however I found running the pump at around 3300 RPM to be tolerable, especially when mixed in with other system noise. Finally, here's how to change out the low bow mountain brackets. Note that additional platform brackets will need to be purchased separately. Now I'm going to go through rewiring the DDC pump to run on a single PWM fan header versus SATA power. This is an optional step and requires a 2 amp pump fan header on the motherboard or an Aqua Computer Quadro, which is what I've used. I've added some cable sleeving to the DDC wires. However, this does make it a pain to adjust the cables while rewiring.
Since this is a reservoirless loop, you'll have two options for filling the loop. The first method will be tediously filling the loop from the top radiator ports, which takes a long time for all the air to escape the loop. The second method is more expensive using an external pump res and some quick disconnect fittings to fill the loop. Once the loop is filled, you can disconnect the external res and close up the loop. I'll leave a link in the video description to the SFF Guru Discord in case anyone needs further assistance with anything in today's video. With the boring stuff out the way, let's take a look at system specs. Moving on to some benchmarks, first up we have 3 d Max Time Spy followed by Cinebench R23 Multicore Score. Finally we have Multicore and Game and Thermals. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.